calculations, it makes interpretations, it doesn't overheat while it solves your complications, it's made of nerves, thinks and observes, all of your thoughts will contort and curve, there's the brainstem and the cerebellum, here's the different lobes that make the cerebrum, the frontal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital and parietal lobes all make the brain function every day, and if you don't have it, you're as good as a barrel of hay, the brain. Supercomputer processing is powerful and you don't have to boot her. Different sections of the lobes have different allocations designed perfectly for computation. A cross section of the brain will reveal the cortex besides the dura matter which the skull then cortex. If you dig down you will see white matter which looks a little bit like cake mix batter. Of course it's not cake mix, it's a bunch of nerve cells. The body's in the cortex and the myelin is the white of the cell. This is the fat for electrical passage that makes the signal happen really fast. The frontal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital and parietal lobes all make the brain function every day. And if you don't have it, you're as good as a barrel of hay, the brain. Down the middle, it's arbitrary. Half is autonomic, half is voluntary. Voluntary is somatic, and that's great if you're athletic, and the autonomous part's considered very sympathetic. Conscious thought controls the somatic nervous system. Your body is the motor, and the brain is the piston. You want to put some stress on those little organelles? Depends on how much acetylcholine triggers muscle cells. As far as autonomic, there's an obvious division. It's the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic triggers flight or fight response, and the other regulates all the frontal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital and parietal lobes all make the brain.